We are now the world's largest electric car company, the second largest auto brand in the world. We have got some of the most inspirational leaders in the EV sector for you. I'd like to welcome them up on stage. We've got Frederica from Polestar, Sandeep from Uber, and Stella. Do you come and join us from BYD? Everybody know, should you understand BYD stands for Build Your Dream. It's a dream about the future. It's a dream about the sustainable like a, uh, like a futures. BYD is the company commit 100% for electric car or PHEV. Number one uh, EV brand to overtook Tesla Q4 last year and number two in the auto space, but growing hugely, you're scaling massively. So I think at one point you went from one and a half million vehicles to three million almost in a year. It's such impressive scaling. How are you able to achieve such growth? One thing is uh, maybe a lot of people did not know BYD. BYD actually is an engineer company. Like uh, we, by maybe uh, November, our employee will reach one million. But the 10% of the employee is R&D engineer. We have, we have now 180,000 like, uh, R&D engineer. We produce 32 patents. So this is one hand, the BYD blood is innovation, technology. Uh, 180,000? Yeah. R&D engineers. R&D engineers. And we produce 32 patents per day. I'm going to bring in Sandeep at this point. So Sandeep, you at Uber have, you know, Chief Product Officer of Uber, you have huge commitments to EVs, and we're seeing a lot of investment from Uber. Can you tell us more about it? As Uber, we are racing to electrify the world. We've made ambitious commitments that by 2030, we will be an all-EV platform in the United States Europe and Canada. Uber drivers are five times faster adopting EVs than the average motorist. And they're doing it because there's no gasoline costs and maintenance costs are lower. So we have very high driver adoption. Then we look at riders. Riders are shifting their purchasing patterns towards Uber Green. So we see more and more riders choosing Uber Green. In fact, over the last four years, Uber Green has grown 10x, and so we're seeing very high rider demand. And they like EVs because they're smoother, they're quieter, they're more technologically advanced vehicles. And then when we look at cities, we've rolled out Uber Green to about 200 cities, and we have more cities asking us to bring Uber Green to those cities. We produce cleaner air in these cities. You know, who doesn't like cleaner air? And so you kind of put all those pieces together. All of our constituents want Uber to go electric. Drivers, they have anxiety about two things. They have anxiety about the upfront price, and they have anxiety about the range capabilities, right? Because they do drive a lot of miles. And so we're doing a number of things to overcome those barriers to adoption. And maybe I'll enumerate a few of them. Number one, we are investing $800 million, which is a large sum of money, to help drivers overcome those barriers. We're doing that by having partnerships with OEMs that bring subsidized vehicles to drivers. One of those partners is BYD, and you know, obviously we need a few of those 180,000 BYD engineers on our side as well. Uh, we're also partnering with energy companies. One example of that is Octopus Energy. And we're investing an incredible amount in product innovations that make it easier for drivers to adopt EVs. Uh, I think one and a half months ago, your CEO, Greg, with BYD, we have a very exciting topic together with the Octopus, BYD, and the Uber. We just launched the first trial project. It's a 1,000 charger. If an Uber driver sign up, then it's the cost between BYD and the Octopus to apply to the Uber driver offer to them. I mean, a lot of people are seeing this kind of sustainability thing as like, oh, EVs, they're like, you know, they're not cool. But actually, that's not the case. I know Polestar have been leading that vision here in Europe and globally for a long time, too. Can you tell us about Polestar? Polestar's vision is to accelerate the transition into sustainable mobility. We have the ability, which I'm very proud of at Polestar, through our designers and engineers, to present something that is truly exciting a performance car that is well-designed, that doesn't mean that you have to compromise, but really is a, a better option. We are in a rampant climate crisis. Climate emissions are still increasing. We are on a clock as an industry. We have a 
impactful climate solution, I would argue one of the most impactful climate solutions in the automotive industry, scaling renewable electricity in charging grids around the world. We need to secure 100% uh, renewable electricity in the charging grids. We also have to decarbonize our um, supply chains, uh, bring in green steel, um, uh, you know, green aluminium, really work with the, the battery production, and also secure that we increase the sales. It turns out that one in four consumers, the first place they've tried an EV has been on Uber. And once they try an EV, and they like the ride, it's technologically advanced, it's smoother, it's quieter, they want to come back and keep using Uber Green. Mm. And so we're actually finding that our platform is a great way to introduce consumers to EVs. Because Chinese government, it's not mean they gave money. In reality, we did not receive some money now. And uh, they gave the sustainable uh, like a, a target. Then they invest. They invest for future. Everybody all in invest because they know like a direction is very clear, only electric car. To really secure that policymakers and the industry together sense a clear signal that we have decided to switch technology. Get along with us. <laughs>